Ever feel like your gaming performance isn't living up to what it should be? You've got the hardware, the setup, but something's still holding you back. Well, there's one simple setting that could be the reason. It's called XMP, and if it's not enabled, you're not getting your money's worth, and your PC isn't hitting its true potential. XMP, or Extreme Memory Profile, is a BIOS setting that optimizes RAM performance. It allows your RAM to run at higher frequencies that the RAM is capable of running, but aren't enabled by default. You're probably thinking to yourself, wait, is my RAM already at its max speed? But actually, it's not. You have to manually change it to the advertised speed. People pay for, let's say, 3200 megahertz, and it turns out that by default, it may be set to a speed that's way lower. Usually by default, it's set to 2133 megahertz. To check what speed your RAM is running at, just go into your task manager, then into the performance tab and down to the memory tab. It's going to show you the megahertz that your RAM is running at. If it's showing the speed that it should be at, then you're good to go. And you don't need to change anything. But if it's not, then you're losing performance, giving you much less FPS than you should be getting, plus making your game a lot less stable. To do this, you're going to have to restart your PC and go into your BIOS. At first, it seems kind of complicated, but it's really not. Everyone has a different type of motherboard, so I cannot say exactly how to get into your BIOS. But if you have a Gigabyte motherboard like me, then search on Google how to get into Gigabyte motherboard BIOS, and it should tell you. So now, I'm going to show you the process on the Gigabyte motherboard. Start by restarting your PC. And when you get to your motherboard logo screen, start spamming delete on your keyboard. After getting into your BIOS, press to go into advanced mode and go into the tweaker tab at the top. Now, for most of you, this extreme memory profile setting or DOCP is going to be set to auto. You're going to want to change it to XMP1 or profile one. Also, for other motherboards, you have to select the speed as well, but make sure you don't go over what you paid for. But for me, it automatically sets the max speed. After doing this, you can exit your BIOS. Just press exit, save changes, and reset, then click OK. After exiting, it's going to start loading you into Windows. Just make sure you go back to your task manager and check if the speed updated to what it should actually be. One last thing, make sure your RAM is in the right slots, which are slots 2 and 4, so the XMP overclock works, and your RAM will be running in dual channel mode. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. It was kind of a long one for just one tip, but I wanted to explain everything so no one would have problems with it. Thank you for watching. Peace.